Hi friends, hope you are all good. Welcome back to my channel. Today we will deep dive into the computer hardware. Today we will discuss about SSDs. Introduction to SSD. Let's start. SSDs, in short, it's called as solid state drive. It is used to store data compared to the electromechanical drive, which is hard drive. SSDs generally have a strong resistance to physical shocks which runs quietly because the absence of any mechanical part which consumes less power and have quicker access time and low latency. So this is the ideal picture of SSD. So in the later part of my video I will show you the connections or the bus which is used for SSDs and types of SSDs. SSDs can use can use traditional HDD interface such as SATA and SAS and form factors such as same size of 2.5 inch allowing this type of SSD to be used as an easy replacement for HDD in computers, servers and laptops or they can use newer interface and form factors to take advantages of the specific of flash drive in SSDs. So as you can see, this is the basic layout of SSD and SSD. SSD doesn't have any mechanical part, it has only chips, so that's the reason it runs quietly and it can absorb physical shocks. So as you can see SDD which has platter, spinder, head and rotor. This is the typical HDD diagram. Let us see types of SSD. Normally, we can classify SSD based on two factors, memory chip and interface. In this video, I will introduce several types of different types of SSD drives based on the interface. As I have showed you, like I said you earlier, it comes with SATA or SCSI. So, first one is SATA SSD, second one is PCIe SSD, M.2, U.2 and the latest one is MVME SSDs. So SATA SSD. SATA SSD is the most common type as a type of connector interface. SATA which stands for Serial ATA is used by SSD to communicate data with the system. SATA SSD is the, it is used with the desktop or laptop computers. Even if that computer is 10 years old, you will be having SATA connectors you can replace it with the SSD. These use the same connector connections as traditional SSD and are commonly in older computers. There are a great, up, great upgrade options for computers with existing SATA connections. Nowadays, SATA 3.0 is the most versatile form of SSD with a theoretical transfer speed of 6 Gbps per second. But since some physical overload will occur when the data to be transferred. Its actual data transfer speed is 4.8 Gbps or 600 Mbps. So this is the typical SATA SSD drive. Let us discuss about PCIe SSD. As you can see in this image, PCIe is the slot you can connect the hard drive directly to the motherboard. PCI SSD is one of is one of the type of SSD hard drives. PCI SSD refers to a solid state drive connected to a computer system using a PCIe interface. PCI SSD has become new way to increase the speed of SSDs solid state drive to serve and store storage data. So please look at the picture. This is been directly connected to the motherboard, not to any connector. So which increases the speed of transfer. So this is the PCIe slot which used to connect the SSDs. PCIe stands for Peripheral Component Interconnect Express PCIe and it is the high speed interface standard used for connecting various internal components in the computer system. PCIe Express formerly abbreviated as PCIe or PCIe is the short of Peripheral Component Interconnect Express which I said earlier. 
as a high speed computer expansion bus standard pci can replace the older pci i pci x and agp bus standards in addition pci is the common motherboard interface for computer graphic cards hard drive ssd wifi ethernet hardware and connections pci 3.0 has a effective transfer speed of 985 mbps per lane so the transfer speed of pci is pci slot this is the pci slot the normal speed is 985 mbps per lane so now discuss about the other type of ssd which is m.2 ssd it was formerly known as ngff next generation form factor m.2 ssds are small circuit boards connected flash memory and controller chips rather than slab shaped device containing these chips flash memory is a kind of non volatile memory memorizer it can ensure the data safety even if in case of power outage flash memory is a variant of ee prom which is updated as electronically erasable programmable read only memory most of the flash memory chips need to be block erasing but the chip of ee prom can be deleted or rewritten in the unit of bytes due to the feature of saving the data when the power outage occurs flash memory can be used to keep the settings information the shape of m.2 ssd is similar to that of ram but in is much smaller and has become the standard configuration in ultra thin notebooks and computers but you will also find them in many desktops and desktop many high end motherboards even have two or more m.2 slots so you can run the m.2 ssd in the configuration of raid the size of m.2 ssd is it varies usually it's of 800 mm 6 80 mm 60 mm or 42 mm long of and 22 mm wide you can see the form factors of the m.2 ssd and chips on and on other both sides you can distinguish it by the four or five digits in the name the first two digit represent the width and the remaining two digit represents the length so you can see here this is the typical m.2 ssd it looks like ram this is 6 gb and the transfer rate is 3.5 gbps per second last we will discuss about m u.2 u.2 ssd u.2 ssd need to be mentioned a u.2 ssd is a ssd with a u.2 interface u.2 previously known as ssf iphone 8639 you need not to remember all these technical uh, generations just u.2 ssd is enough it is a interface standard defined by the ssd form factor working group sffwg u.2 is developed for the enterprise market and aim to be compatible with pci slot as sata and sata e and sas interface standards u.2 ssd suits like traditional sata hard drive different connectors and send data via the speed pci interface and they are typically thicker than 2.5 inch hard drives and ssds however ssds that can be bought by ordinary consumers include the intel 750 series which includes three capacity specification 400 gb 800 gb and 1.2 gb actual reading and speed of intel 750 u to ssd is 1. Two TB capacity can go up to two forty MB, two double zero or thousand two hundred Mbps per second, respectively. As for the random reading, the speed, reading speed, the SSD can reach up to forty four and for forty four thousand four lakh forty thousand IOPS and two lakh ninety thousand IOPS respectively. In a word, and performance is very strong. So this is the typical USB. U.2 U. USB. This is not mostly common. The NVMe and the SSDs are most commonly used. As I said, NVMe SSDs. NVMe SSD is SSD which is the name with an NVMe interface. NVMe Express is the short of our non-volatile memory host controller interface, specifically NVMe CIS. 
It is an open logical device interface specification for accessing non-volatile storage media connected via PCI, PCI Express or PCI bus. MBM Express enables host hardware and the software to talk full advantage of the parallelism possible in the modern SSDs. As a result, compared to the previous logic device interface, NVMe Express reduces I.O. Or overhead and brings various performance improvements including multiple long command queues and reduced latency. So, this is the widely used hard drives in the thinner laptops. So, this is the typical image of NVMe M.2 hard drive of 500 GB. SS, now we will discuss about the form factors of SSDs. SSD comes in various form factors to suit different devices and use cases. 2.5 inch, the most common form factor designed to fit in the same space as 2.5 inch hard disk. These are widely used in laptops and desktops. You can upgrade your laptop with 2.5 inch SSD. You can remove the SSD and you can use Talking about M.2, a smaller stick-like form factor that comes in various length. 2242-2260, this is the serial number. Yeah. This is the length of the hard drive which I discussed with you earlier. These are the commonly used in thin laptops and our secondary device in the desktop. So the U.2, formerly known as SFF8639, this form factor is used for high performance SSDs in enterprise and environments. But these are not these are not commonly used in our desktops and laptops. Add in cards, AIC, these SSDs are designed to plug directly to the PCIe slot on a motherboard, often used for very high performance applications. External SSDs, these are portable SSDs that connect to your device via USB or a Thunderbolt port of USB Type-C or USB Type-A, offering high speed external storage. So that is it. So we have discussed about the form factors of SSDs and types of SSDs. Types of SSDs and form factors and the speed of the SSDs. Hope this video was knowledgeable and information for you. So hope you like the video. If you like the video, please share, like and subscribe. If you have any queries, please let me know. Please comment on the comment section. If you have any questions, please let me know. I will try to solve it. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you friends.